Good mo morning, everybody. It's, it's not morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome back to a new video. I uh, hope you're all doing great. We're covering quant in this video or QNT, but I'll just call it quant. Um, again, it's been a while since I covered it. I think the last time I covered it was uh, what was during these volata volatile days at the end of July. Uh, but I know that there's quite a lot of quant holders and, and quant fans uh, around the Linux crypto community. Um, so I just wanted to give you my thoughts on that. And apart from that, I've also been keeping my eyes on it for the last, uh, well, two days at least, since it's been quite bullish. Uh, I think there's, there's opportunities. And right now, just in general, like quant is quite interesting because it's... Ha it has actually been very, very, very stable since the 21st of June. Uh, and if we compare that with Bitcoin, for example, then what we see is that Bitcoin has obviously had a lot of bullish momentum. Uh, but after that, we also gave all of that up. So quantum Bitcoin at the, at, at the beginning and the end were at the same levels. But quant in that whole period of time remains fairly stable. So that's that's interesting in my eyes in a bear market uh, to have a solid project. And that's also stable. Um, and that also means like if you if you take a look at the market structure, just if you if you just do the eye test, you'll see that this is some sort of a consolidation and that usually if we get bullish momentum like this, it also continues further up. Uh, so we'll talk about the possibility of that. I mean, it's, it's definitely not confirmed yet, but, uh, but but that's what this video is for. Right. Uh, so that's what we'll do before we dive into that. I do want to mention as well. Uh, that I have my own premium trading group. So if you want to become a better or more profitable trader, consider joining. It's very easy to join. You get my trades in the form of signals. You also gain access to a chat room full of traders. A lot of great perks if you actually want to improve. So uh, check that out if, you, if, if, if that's something you'd like. Links will be down in the description or you can just head on over to selenix.com. But for now on to quant. Uh, so what we're seeing with quant in the last two days, like I said, uh, is more bullish momentum. The volume is actually pretty decent as well, given that it's uh, that it's the weekend. It was a little bit higher yesterday, but that doesn't matter that much. Um, and right now, it's, it's actually pretty interesting because what Quant is trying to do is it's trying to break above this last resistance level, or at least I would say it's the last resistance level. It's around 105. Psychological resistance level, 0 0.618 FIB, a trend line break retest, which is not the strongest. I'm, I'm actually going to delete that. But altogether, a very strong level. So what Quant ultimately wants to do is it wants to break above that to get up towards 108 and 107, take a bullish break retest, and then get up towards 111 and potentially 113. And then from there, we'll, we'll see... Oh, excuse me. And then from there, we'll see again whether we can break that and, and get even higher or, or whether it's just a co continuation of this consolidation. Um, but at this point of time, it actually does look most likely that we will uh, get that bullish breakout. Now, I must say that once it also happened right here, the 14th of July, that we got bullish momentum like this and that it did not result into anything. Uh, very similar because here we, we started a little bit higher and also got a bit higher. And here we started a bit lower and, and got towards 105. But that's something we'll see. And, and right now, it does seem like there's quite a lot of bullish momentum. So I, I have to say, just objectively speaking, that it looks most likely that we'll break above 105, get towards 108. And then after that, after that break retest, also get up to 111 and 112. Now, the only thing that could really change this, and that's good to know as well, is if from this level at 105, we actually drop back down towards $100. All right, because then we break through some some significant support and, and and the moment we hit 100 right 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 down here the the, the market structure is broken all right so then you cannot you, you can no longer confidently speak about a bullish market structure which right now we can uh, and then it's just more likely that we will actually uh, continue to consolidate and that the current price action is a little bit more like this instead of this all right, so I'll keep you updated on that if you're interested in that. But, uh, but for now, that's my take on Quant. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.